Welcome to Geek vs. Geek, where we put two of our contestants against each other. Each have three minutes. One is the intro, then the rebuttal, and then an exit. So, we got over here to my right. Today's battle is the movie that needs to remake the most. I am picking Garbage Pail Kids movie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and to the left, we have our special guest today. Yeah, we're going to do this. Uh, I'm Graham Young, and <laughs> I've picked the obscure 1988 film, Killing American Style. Oh, God. I hate you guys. <laughs> so I purposely... You've got gross and exploitation, so... <laughs> yeah. So I'm the judge today. My name's Jeffrey, and I purposely made sure I did not check to see what they were talking about, so this is going to be very interesting. And, God, these two. Oh, all right. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start with Gavin. Gavin, you got about one minute starting... Now. All right. So... We're doing movies in a reboot. Everyone wants to reboot the popular franchises. Let's reboot a very unpopular franchise that has a torrid, horrible history. I'm picking the Garbage Pail Kids movie because we live in a day and age, <laughs> and this is fantastic. Fest is proof positive of this. We're up for more experimental cinema, more grosser cinema. And let's face it, the original Garbage Pail Kids movie failed on every level. I own it, and Graham makes fun of me for that. But <laughs> it wasn't gross. It wasn't a good movie. It was a musical. Everything wrong with that movie. But now we're riding on this nostalgia factor of let's reboot all these 80s properties. Well, let's do a really gross, horror-filled, Garbage Pail Kids movie the proper way without music and actual Garbage Pail Kids in it that, you know, the story wasn't all that bad, but they could have done some things differently. So, like, you maybe they all in an orphanage. Whatever it is, now's the time for a really good exploitation-esque Garbage Pail Kids horror movie. I'm done. Okay, that's a really good <laughs> intro, and he's Stop. sorry getting goody points with me on this one. So, Graham, let's go ahead and what's, take it away. What's my reaction to that? No, right. this is your opening this argument. Oh, this is my opening <laughs> argument for my opening film. opening argument. Okay. <laughs> All right, and go ahead and start now. Okay, so I chose uh, Killing American Style, which I think is a pretty cool movie, um, but it has some major setbacks. It's a cheap straight to video action film from the 1980s, but unfortunately it has a lot of sexual assault, which is not a party, it's not fun. And this is kind of a film where you, it's late night, you have a couple of beers with your friends, maybe a little grass, I don't know, I don't want to judge anybody. But, <laughs> and you just that. kind of party and watch a really fun, exciting action movie. Uh -huh. And those scenes just kill you when you're watching them, and it just takes you out of the party. And so I think doing a movie in the vein and trying to capture that, that gritty and cheap 19, late 1980s sort of filmmaking, but add more awkward consensual sex and less yeah, sexual assault. Seconds. <laughs> um, and I think that that would really, because anybody that knows me knows that I love awkward consensual sex in the movies. I'll, I'll, I'll end it there, Gavin. <laughs> what just happened? Wow, okay. so we got real, two really good intros coming in. I, you guys suck because this is really hard for me. Wow. Okay, so Gavin, go ahead and start it off with your defense. Starting okay, now. so. You want awkward, consensual sex? It's not going to happen in a Garbage Pail Kids movie. It's, it's innocent enough, but you could actually go that route if you wanted to. The problem with your film, Graham, is seriously, nobody has any idea what this movie is. There's no established franchise. There's no backing of it. Unless you're one of those weird exploitation film lovers, <laughs> um, then you don't really understand why this movie would need to be remade. Um, I think the sexual tension in it probably would still translate today, but it would definitely be one of those underground movies where you got to get a little high. Not as high as you need to be to watch a Garbage Pail Kids movie. There. Let's just, I'm going to be real honest about that right here. But seriously, I think your movie is a weaker choice that would need to reboot simply based on the fact that it's an unknown commodity and no one's dealing with unknown commodities these days. However, Garbage Pill Kids is a known commodity. It's still around these days. You just got to do it properly where they're not seeing and peeing on themselves and not being gross. So I'm done with my counter argument. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's getting me, but you got me with a really good intro. So, Graham, go ahead. I wasn't prepared for his go, intro, go just so you know. Away. Gavin made some really excellent points, but it doesn't change the fact that my movie rules and Gavin sucks. I can remember um, <laughs> when I was a kid and my mom said, Graham, please don't watch Garbage Pail Kids 
or I'm going to ground you. And of course, I watched it anyway. And um, I, it was so horrible, I told on myself. I went up to my mom and I said, Mom, I watch Garbage Pail Kids. And she put her arm around my shoulder and she said, Son, you've suffered enough. And I think that that really sort of sums up what shit Garbage Pail Kids is. And look, Gavin has made an excellent point with um, Killing American Style. No one knows what the movie is. I think but that's kind of cool. Seconds. I don't know. Just keep going. Okay, cool. But <laughs> We're done. any movie, any movie, it deserves a remake more than Garbage Pail Kids. It is shite. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Give me my closing time. I wish Let's you go. folks, the, the viewers at home right now, wherever you are, could see our crew because everyone is literally in tears. And I'm almost in tears here. So let's see what kind of shite you can get with an exit, Gavin. All right. So, yeah. Garbage Pill Kids. Was it a good movie? No one liked it. You got in trouble for just watching it. You got, you people <laughs> felt sorry for it. You know why? Because that movie was not done justice. Your movie could be done justice by anyone from Quentin Tarantino who will just do the same thing and be like, oh, it's just Quentin Tarantino doing his regular thing. Now, nah, Garbage Pill Kids would be a bigger challenge to reboot and a much more worthwhile challenge because, uh, you know what? This way you get redemption for having to have watched it as a child. Yes, I own this movie, Graham. <laughs> I, I shared it with Charles. And you were like, why? Because this movie deserves better. That's why it needs a reboot. This is a franchise. This is a movie that deserves absolute five seconds much better give us gross give us nacho in charge of it we'll be fine i okay. i think hey yeah go ahead i you mean to interrupt you i'm just jumping into this already so <laughs> so far you got a really good intro you got a really good defense <laughs> i'm never going to be consensual awkward sex i mean let's be honest That's here good exit <laughs> graham <laughs> the best sex there is is consensual awkward sex especially when it's filmed you're <laughs> Graham, go it's ahead not. and go with the next one, sir. <laughs> so, <laughs> again, Gavin... You get another 10 seconds to talk, cause just because. Kevin made a sense. good point when he says that no one knows what these movies are. Um, but I think bringing something fresh to the table, um, the film was made by Amir Chevron. He's an Iranian filmmaker. And he, not only did he make Killing American Style, he also directed Hollywood Cop and my favorite movie, Samurai Cop. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's absolutely amazing. And I think that sort of um, these are just great action movies that you can make today. Again, anything is better than Garbage Pail Kids. I, I can't believe Charles is still on speaking terms with you after uh, letting him borrow that. It is absolutely awful. Um, and also, I question whether or not you even like children uh, after um, <laughs> wanting to subject them to a remake. But he's of a father. I work with children. Bad have you dad, not seen this crew? Dad. <laughs> <laughs> have you not seen this crew? We are his lost boys. Uh, there we go. Okay, this this all is right. a lot harder Gavin's than I thought it was going to be. a father to all of us. <laughs> <laughs> and no, Charles watched it within two days. It wasn't that bad. It's Charles, Charles was being nice. Charles was being <laughs> kind. Charles, Charles likes so, exploitation films. Charles is our one of our guys, <laughs> security guys here. He's awesome. I love him to death. So, who wins? I uh, I. This is a really. <laughs> Really hard choice. I told Jeffrey, I don't feel bad for you for this one. This is going to be tough. So, no ties. Gonna go no ahead. ties. So we're going to do a little bit different here. Um, I'm going to I'm going to raise someone's hand, and <laughs> we're going to have the audience behind here applaud on who will win. Remember who your godfather is. <laughs> Just because you pay us doesn't mean anything. All right, if Gavin should win. Screw all of you people! <laughs> Screw all of you people! I got Holly on my so, side! And if Graham should win! <laughs> <laughs> Alright everyone, we got ourselves a winner. Graham, you win a poster of Fanboy TV. All Congratulations. Right. Uh, you get a postcard. And all I want to say is, if you thought this debate was great, Whole, just wait for the Nightmare on Elm Street uh, oh, debate. Oh. Graham and I want to do a thing called Graham versus Gavin because we are, we get in arguments we're, we're just, just about every weekend. Oh, Pocky, 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 real quick before we, we before we go forward, did you think this was an equal match? No. Uh, <laughs> Garbage Pail <laughs> Kids is a good movie. So, what so, is your problem? No, so so here, here, here's my thing. Garbage Pail Kids was a commercial that failed at every aspect. At least I can say, and I have seen your movie, that that it was it was made by a man who wanted to make a movie, and he did. And Samurai Cop is the great is a great great movie. It's just Best. absolutely crap. Anyways, folks, we hope you enjoyed the Geek vs. Geek today. It's seriously been a really good one. And so you can play it over the home game. More content uh, right after right this. Back. <laughs>